Welcome to your daily five for Monday. I have a very special guest with me today, Johnny Scan, John Colucci. John, welcome. Great to be here, Professor. Always or should I call you Dr. Scan? So, Whatever. Whatever. Anyway, this, like. I'll this answer is, to either one. Okay. <laughs> so we have a scan from Mr. Scan here today. And it's the Your Daily Five Triple Threat Scan. And uh, John, tell us about it. Well, this is a scan that looks to several very classic indicators, OBV, the scooter, a stock charts original, and the percent relative syntax. So we're asking that each of these three major indicators have a positive slope. So we're using essentially a linear regression analysis over 21 periods, fairly short term, a month. And the OBV signal line, which is essentially is in this case, a 10 period moving average and the scooter line. And scooter is a much more complex and robust form of relative strength. There's some great articles in stock charts on that. And we're going to try to constrain our results. We're gonna limit our results by requiring that um, the, re the candidates be within 5% positive and within 5% of their 50 period moving average. We're going to then sort this list by the proximity of the close to the SMA 50. The scanning engine will actually let us measure distance in this way. Fantastic. This is a great, this is a great tool. And I definitely encourage everyone to uh, screen capture, copy this, and uh, just go into your scan engine on stockcharts.com, type it in. And uh, I do this with all of uh, John's scans. And it's really good for me because I, I basically learn by doing it. And I have scans that I can work with. And uh, one thing that we did is uh, John started this with a 63 day uh, slope and the 63 day slope really coincides with a, a quarter of a year in trading, 63 trading days, which relates to uh, really uh, where the institutions like to focus their attention. And so, uh, uh, what what would we do here, uh, John, uh, to change the scan to the 63 day? We would just take the 21 and put in 63. That's it. So then you just go up, you could give it a different name, save Absolutely. it as, save it as 63. And then you have two really cool scans. Absolutely. Okay. So uh, here is uh, the list that we got from doing the 21 day scan. And then, of course, because it's your daily five, we had to pick five stocks. But uh, this was a pretty interesting list, John. Absolutely. There's quite a, a dispersal of industries and sectors. And one of the interesting things is that we see that our scooter values tend towards more the middle of the range. We've got 85 half at the top end and then all the way down to a 14.9. So we're... Uh, scanning by constraining our results to within 5% of the 50, we're actually pushing down the scooter values so that we can get stocks that maybe are yet to explode rather than having already moved. So 23 candidates in the list, very, very manageable. And, and all the stocks in the list are quite interesting to look at. And mm -hmm. um, so uh, we're just confined to five and possibly a bonus stock. Absolutely. So here are the uh, candle glance views of the stocks with the relative strength underneath them, which is, I think, a great way to look at candle glance. And so this is six months of data. And so uh, tell us what you see here, John. Well, the main thing we want to focus on here is looking at the sort order, because when you sort in your scan and save that order, it translates that results into the candle glance. So our first 
mid-American property uh, stock is the furthest from its 50 period moving average and all the way down at the other end, Pulte Homes, Pulte Group is the closest to its 50 period average. So the sort translated through to the candle glance, very powerful feature allows you to see what you want in the order you want it. So that's the main thing here. And our first chart I think is mid-American. Very interesting chart. And there's uh, Mid-America apartment communities. And uh, tell us what, uh, tell us how we would see these individual components in the, uh, that are in the scan in this chart. Absolutely. So our top uh, indicator is OBV and we lay it out in three time frames. Uh, the, the cyan line is the OBV line. The red line is the 10 period average and the blue line is the 50. And what we see is all three are in the proper order and we're beginning to have positive slope on all of the uh, indicator lines, which is very, very good, it means positive volume is increasing. Scooter line with a 50 period moving average is next. And we see some flattening out of the scooter line, which is very indicative of a period of reaccumulation, some sacrifice in relative strength uh, during periods of horizontal movement. That's expected, nothing radical here. And then our um, uh, relative strength line is on the bottom and that really is tracking very nicely above a 50 period moving average. So everything is responsive to our scan and we have a very, very nice Wyckoffian structure there. Any thoughts on that structure, Professor? Well, it's a classic reaccumulation type structure where you have a climax here and then you have an automatic reaction and that sets up the range bound condition. So you have resistance and you have support. We drew a box around those areas and then you have a series of tests of the lower and upper end, which in fact confirm that these two levels were very essentially important in the reaccumulation process over time. And that's a, it's nearly three months in duration so far. And now you can see that MAA is just uh, hovering at the top after one last uh, return to the support area, it's had a nice uh, return up to the resistance, up to the top, it's up and out now. And look at the uh, consolidation that we're getting. It's not coming back in, at least so far, into the structure and it's very dull and quiet, which is a really uh, a nice indication of the stock being in strong hands. And then also you can see that the volume is uh, really quite dull and quiet while it's resting. So that's a good feature also. Old resistance, new support, very classic. Okay, so now we have Taylor Morrison Homes, home builder. What do we see? Well, we see we're up off a low and we had uh, uh, some movement to form a new uh, horizontal range area. Our OBV is tracking up. S the scooter is tracking up too. It's under its moving average, but not a huge deal. And we're just starting to turn, turn up on relative strength. And we can see with that wide bar yesterday, over 4%, we're uh, moving away from our 50 and have in fact uh, closed over the 200. So all very positive for a... Uh, accumulation structure there. Beautiful. And so this all could be part of a bigger basing structure also. So, Absolutely. Yeah. So very, uh, very interesting. The volume's drying up here as it's coming back down to support one last time. And now it's attempting to uh, ascend up and out of this area and get above the 200 day also. And we did have a very interesting high volume day that pushed us only to the 50 period average and then back up. So, Fascinating. Yeah. Yep. So, Couldn't push it down even on high volume. Very, very good. interesting. Good observation. Okay, Signacorp Healthcare. Another beautiful structure terminating a down uh, move, down channel, and uh, very high volume. A relatively high volume stopping action on a selling climax came up, been absorbing uh, slowly during this period. And notice our OBV is really leading our indicators back up. 
we see that we had a cross of the 10 and the 50 line. Both are now adopting positive slope. Very, very important technical feature. Scooter line above its moving average, just starting to peak up on relative strength. So perhaps a little earlier for the Wyckoffians, maybe a uh, move out and holding like we saw with Mid-America would be uh, the next best place to look for an entry, but very positive um, accumulation type structure here. Very good. Interesting. Okay, and uh, PepsiCo. Great company. Could Beautiful agree more. chart. So we have a, a climax of sorts, range bound condition, uh, and a very mild automatic reaction, which sets up a range. You can see how this resistance here uh, holds the uh, uh, the resistance area for pretty close to three months. And then the here, you had a really good observation about this uh, area down here as we were preparing. Almost forms a mini structure in itself. So we went through a structural uh, feature at support with a very, very strong leap out. And if you looked at that maybe on an hour or a uh, four hour chart, I think you would see a very well developed structure occurring over that uh, that period of time. So interesting to look on shorter term charts. And Professor, I know you like to do that. Yeah, so I, I love to get in and like uh, burrow into the uh, intraday one hour, all the way up to four hour charts and look for those types of structures. Because sometimes there's very high quality structures that are formed inside of the uh, intraday that are purely Wyckoffian, really uh, very great looking. What a helpful. beautiful test of uh, old resistance. Just just classic. Yeah. Pull back, mm -hmm. nice uh, nice hammer type bar ending that uh, two, two day down move and then up again. Very, very nice. Okay, so you can see also that these signal lines are all up and uh, which is consistent with the scan itself. Now here's snap on, we're, uh, we have about a minute and a half, John. So yep. uh, uh, here's snap on, tell us what you see. Well, snap on is uh, moving up against a recent history of underperformance. We see really from uh, June, we had a lot of volume down that brought all of our OBV, scooter, everything down but it's leveled out over several months and it's formed a very nice little accumulation structure at the uh, area of uh, October, September, October, and uh, just peaking up, just the green shoots. Now this is indicative of a stock that is closer to its 50 than the others. As we work down the list, the stocks become closer to their 50 period moving average. So there's a little more weakness there. Right there. Yep. But if you want the big ones, you got to fish deep. Very good. Well, and also you can see here's that, uh, again, that structure down at the towards the support area. This is larger than the last one we looked at. And now it's attempting to ascend. Maybe this tells us that there's going to be a pretty good attempt to jump up and out of this area. And all the signal lines are up. So this is really a great example. And with that, John, we're done. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Hey guys, Dave Keller here with StockCharts.com. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, and we hope you did, hit the like button right below. Also, we have so much new content every day. Consider subscribing to the channel. Just hit the subscribe button in the video or right below. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Have a fantastic day.